Collins said he was told in advance not to say it. There is a little ambiguity about what it is, but I think we all agree it's clear that if there's a war suggestion that somehow the United States would be drawn into war in the first result. But Harlan was quite emphatic and knew what he was meant to say when he said on a deep background he was told in advance not to say it. Well, he didn't say it. No, I think that's probably reprimanded for us. Those are the highlights. Console us now with the faith conviction that one day we will be with them again in your kingdom. And they loved. May this memorial forever remind us of their the responsibilities that transcend the individual into duty, respect for our shipmates, for their families. And all powerful Lord, we lift before you the families of those courageous younger than as only the Creator can. Comfort them. Lord, and they instead to the groaning of our stricken souls and give us your peace. Peace to the human, and today we know such great heartache. So we come to this place to seek the simple assurance of each other and the hope of, but rarely thought of as great men or legends, can we now truly say they are heroes. And even if we can, would we not rap, which Americans had never heard of until their sons and brothers and fathers. And in later years in the South Pacific campaign, American sailors would speak often of the bravery of the Marines they put on the beaches to fight and die. But one hopelessly outnumbered and outgunned, a small group of US ships had taken on a powerful enemy fleet. And though five medals of honor were won and the enemy was turned back and Guadalcanal was saved. The price was so high and the burden so heavy. Joseph, Madison, and Albert, the five Sullivans as we knew them then, would not be coming home. But while our sorrow was great in those days, I cannot help but tell you this morning that in some how right President Kennedy was when he spoke of the sacrifices asked by a hard and bitter peace and our own long twilights of this region. It is a region that is a crossroads for three continents and the starting place for the oil that is the lifeblood of much of the world economy, especially though were a hostile power ever to dominate this strategic region and its resources, it would become a choke point for freedom. That of our allies understood their obligations. They knew the importance of their job. So too, I believe that most Americans today know the price of freedom in this uneasy world. It fills a man with a sense of worth like nothing else. And he said, if America is still the great beacon in dense gloom, a promise to hundreds of million guard in the night, 
The men of the USS Stark stood guard in the night. One of our ambassadors paid them this tribute. They were tough, they were brave, that for all the lovely spring and summer days we will never share with them again. For every Thanksgiving and Christmas that will seem empty without them, there will be other moments too, the history and wonder. Why is there such a place as America? And how is it that such a precious gift is mine? And we can answer them. We can answer them by telling them of this day and those that we come to those who suffer and die so that the precious gift of America might always be ours. The men of the USS Stark have protected us. They have done their duty on this earth. And let us remember a final duty to understand that these men made themselves immortal by dying for something, not just to us, but to their God. Greater love than this has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. And because God is love, Ladies and gentlemen, you are... And still pray, and the tears that we've shed, and still shed, for them. Help them, Heavenly Father, to, to feel how deeply you, 